Hi everyone, Tara Twins here. Welcome back to my channel. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi guys, and thank you for tuning in and joining us. Absolutely, we're so excited to be doing this reading. This can be for any sign watching, and we're going to be looking at the person you're going to end up with. Absolutely. We're going to be describing them, their looks, their character, what they do for work. Anything we can sort of read. Any personality traits, mm -hmm. exactly. What they look like, how you might meet them, maybe perhaps what time you might meet them, any references to time, um, what they might be wearing, well, you know, what tattoos might they have. Any just sort of details. Anything that comes up, exactly. Any details, any energies that we can pick up with regards to this person that is coming in for you. Yeah. We'll, sh we'll be sure to relay that back. So we'll lay out a heap of cards and anything that comes up, we're going to be relaying to you. So please remember this is for any sign. If you've watched this reading, it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. The universe wants you to hear these messages because they're going to be helpful for you in picking out this person um, and also maybe validating that um, some, some questions that you may have around them as well. Absolutely. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle mm. and we'll see, you know, we'll see just how much information we can get about this particular energy that is coming in towards you. Okay, so what does Tara want to tell us? Ooh, we've got, we've got a few cards. Okay, mm. so the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Tower card here. Cards are just flying out. Okay, Five of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Four of Cups. Ten of Cups. You've got a lot of water energy, a lot of air mm. energy as well. Okay, so what do we have about this person? What do we know about them? I feel like it's going to be quite a strong emotional connection from what I can see, okay? Yeah. You've got like a water energy. I'm picking up a strong water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Also strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. I feel like maybe this person's energy right now could be under the influence of the tower moment, hence why the two of you may perhaps have not met yet, okay? So maybe this person is going through a bad breakup, some sort of emotional trauma or emotional anguish that they need to heal. This person, you you have not encountered this energy yet purely because this person needs to do some um, individual work okay they need there are some issues of pain or trauma that they need to confront and hopefully mm. heal here before the two of you can come together and have you know this wonderful relationship I agree. Overall energy, I'm sensing that um, this person is straight away hard to get to or they're going to be hard to get. There's mm -hmm. a lot of, um, there's a bit of chasing happening here. The Ace of Swords is telling to me this relationship, especially the beginning, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. You're not going to be able to just, it's not that it's not going to be effortless, but I'm, I'm get, picking up a vibe um, that it's going to be hard to get off the ground for some reason. Mm -hmm. Now that could be for multiple reasons. It could be that they need to do their own individual spiritual work, physical work. It could be that they have have another person at the time um, some of you may start this relationship as an innocent flirtation maybe as a third party situation um, the time you come together one of you maybe even both of you will have options and this is what I think is contributing to the overall energy that this person is like a struggle to get to or it's like there's a fighting chance between the both of you that's a strong message that's coming up in terms of their background um, as you say it is a new kind of energy we've got mm -hmm. a beautiful ace next to this person new connection new person new type Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't dismiss this person. Give them a chance because they could really surprise you. They could give you your happily ever after. So I feel like what I get is like this person may come across as like a player or a playette, but really they've got good values here. They come from a good family. Mm -hmm. They want children or maybe they want more children or they want that happy family home. Whatever that, that sort of these sort of traditions mean to this person, they value this a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting sort of... What you see on the outside may not necessarily be what you get on the inside, okay? Or you may be genuinely surprised. Don't be so quick to judge or discount them, discount yeah. or dismiss them. Exactly. I feel like you will be their light, yeah? You'll be the, the shining light in the darkness. I feel like this person is going through a storm, but you're going to help them, you know, you're going to help them through it or you're going to help them get out of this storm. Yeah, there's, there's some sort of trauma coming in, They're... either from childhood or something they'll mm -hmm. be going through at the time you meet. Mm -hmm. Job loss, you know, everything that's going on right now. Uh... 
addictions. There's definitely some lingering emotional pain with this person and they definitely mm. need to do some healing. So even when they may enter your life, they may still not have fully healed. So I feel like this is why it feels like a bit of a twin flame connection, to be honest with you, especially, mm. you know, that runner chases stage, which you will be experiencing a lot of purely because that emotional intensity that the two of you will feel for one another will be so intense and it will be so unfam unfamiliar to the both of you that, you know, there'll be some pulling away and some running, mm. some chasing one another here worth the fight though worth definitely worth the battle definitely worth the fight here um i do feel like this is someone whom they are very emotionally sensitive they can be a little bit emotionally withdrawn and quite reserved which i feel like plays into that whole you know they're a little bit emotionally guarded they will have their walls build up so high and especially you know mm. if you know this is a water energy we're talking about that they will have that expectation placed on you for you to climb over those walls here i'm also seeing that this is someone who wants children or this is someone whom you're going to have um, you're going to end up having children with some of you. Um, this per I feel like this is your um, forever person. This is someone whom you're going to settle down, have a family, mm. build a home with, have children. You know, that white picket fence, that family dog here. Um, it's going to be a very complicated, intense connection. Um, but it'll, I do feel like for some of you, you're also going to go into business, into partnership with this individual. Some of you are going to be buying property or investing in property with one another. I keep seeing threes, though. And for some of you, I feel like there's a connecting um, energy to this person. So it could be an ex that might still linger in the picture or it could be um, a friend um, that I feel like they're very close to. But I feel like this... There's someone here, it's a connecting energy that is on, that keeps coming up around them. It kind of like follows them like a shadow everywhere they go. With regards to what it is that they do for career, some of, I'm seeing finances for some of you. Okay, For others, I feel like this person is, they've also got quite an artistic nature to their energy here. So they may even be from the creative arts industry here. Um, they're very good with their, uh, very good with, especially if they're in air energy here, natural wordsmiths here, very good with their um communication here so could even be a politician a public speaker if not they probably might want to look into that because i feel like very good conversationalist energy here mm, yeah look the tower i mean they could be in demolition insurance mm -hmm. we've got repairs mm -hmm. we've got charity work financial aid financial help they could be involved in certain volunteering jobs as well they could sponsor events or programs they could be involved in rehabilitation addiction work alcoholism um i feel like yes there is a financial link here as well they could work in the corporate realm we've got these tall buildings again mm -hmm. money insurance finances property, yep. uh, yeah we have more property here uh, could also be a work from home job too mm -hmm. okay or that it may be a job that allows them to work from home at times so they've got a comfortable um schedule uh, sort of happening here but they are very committed and they are very hard working is what I'm seeing as well so that's excellent uh, I feel like in terms of hobbies they enjoy spending time with their family there could be a passion here for the water okay things mm -hmm. like fishing or hiking surfing beaching, surfing swimming sailing um, yeah they could even be involved in very strenuous physical activity like fighting fencing mm -hmm. um, boxing quite physical yeah physical like military okay boot camp they could be quite they could enjoy those really grueling activities or sports or um gym things but they might also have even sustained an injury themselves because of that especially if they've been in competitive sports or competitive um hobbies that may have happened especially with the tower card okay um let's talk about this person's appearance or age Mm -hmm. What are we getting? Okay, we've got two fours and two fives. So the numbers four and five appear to be significant around this person. Mm -hmm. Maybe in their birth year, mm. um, dates, the license could be references numbers. to dates, the timing you might meet as well. Um, yeah, there's some definitely some significance here with the number four and five. Yes. So seeing that, um, I think there is a link. Uh, in terms of this person's look, the the tower could indicate a, a, a very tall mm -hmm. individual or someone who is quite slender okay and we see this sort of echoed here in other cards um you know the length like long legs okay or just long height long body height okay we see this long cloaks here um we mm -hmm. see this yeah, yeah. 
I'm also getting long dark hair as well for a lot yeah, of you. I'm getting dark okay. hair, dark features mm. for some of you. If it's a male, it's going to be rocking a hair bun. For others of you, you know, if it's a, yeah, a man bun, that's, yeah, man bun. Um, for the females, uh, yeah, long flowy locks, but darker features. I'm seeing darker features. Look, they may even be blonde naturally, but dye their hair. Dye their hair, Exactly. Yeah. Or they're like got light features, but um, darker hair or darker eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe there's a passion for wearing black as well. Yes, yep. Uh, maybe they could even be rocking a bit of a goth style as yep, well. Definitely. Uh, overall, I feel like this person is in shape. They're either slender or they're muscular. I'm not getting the sense that they're completely overweight. They may have had some sort of health battle in the past. Not rocking a dad bod? Not rocking a dad bod. <laughs> no, no, not the vibes that we're getting here. I mean, maybe... But you're not going to love them any less, even if they do. Exactly. I mean, so, uh, nothing wrong with a dad bod. Nothing um, wrong with a dad bod. I'm getting tattoo. A tattoo of a heart or a sword is coming up for me. Okay. Especially Ooh, on their arm. Body yeah. art. Yep. Definitely some body art. Um, yeah. Look, I feel like there's a flexibility to them as well. The curve of the rainbow, um, the cross-legged figure here, the closed-off figure here. They could be quite flexible. Again, something about their body. Um... So I feel like they've got quite an adaptable or strong physique. Mm -hmm. for, oh, yes. Yeah. Now, for some of you, I was just going to say that some of you are going to be doing long distance with this individual. So maybe that some of you are going to meet this person via online digital communication. You could be long, doing long distance for quite some time. For others of you, there is going to be a separation period in the relationship. Okay. But do not fret. Do not worry because that is not going to be temporary. Uh, sorry, that's not going to be permanent. It is going to be temporary. And in fact, you know, it's sort of um, giving yourself some space and some time is only going to intensify, you know, the strong feelings that you feel for one another. Mm, mm, okay. Well, yeah, let's look at more into the, the, the how you meet then, I suppose. Um, so I'm getting for some of you, you may meet through work or it could be like a one night stand. It could be something explosive here. Um, and if you, you know, if there's a vibe here that this person is from a distance from you, uh, that could indicate that, uh, yes, you will at some point maintain a long distance connection. Um, they might be even, if it is work related, they may be visiting your town. Uh, for a conference, for a meeting of some kind. Uh, you could meet through the community as well with the Ten of Swords. Mm -hmm. Connecting energies, Family, friends. friends yep. Mutual friends, absolutely. But again, it's almost like the two of you may have other people in your lives uh, when you do meet. Definitely. I feel like for some of you, you're going to get off on the wrong foot. It's probably not going to be the, you know... The wonderful beginning that you'll probably want to your happily ever after. Some of you, there is going to be a wrong turn in the relationship or in the connection. The two of you may not start off on the best um, footing here. Okay, so even when you meet, you might not necessarily be crazy about one another. Like you might be in a crowded room and, you know, um, your eyes might not necessarily lock straight away. Or even when you do get to know one another, maybe you feel like, oh, okay, this person has traits or has, you know, personality that you don't easily gel with. So there could be something maybe even slightly off standish or like, for example, if you do text, um, you know, you meet, you start texting and everything is going great. And then this person might pull away. You might not hear from them for weeks and then you'll come back together. So this, this is what mm. I mean by like some of you get off to the wrong foot or like you'll have a wrong turn. But, you know, we spoke about don't. Um, don't judge this person too early or don't discount or don't dismiss this connection because mm. I feel like there's a lot of promising potential here and just because you know you get off on the wrong foot it doesn't mean you guys stay there because I feel like whatever that separation or that break that you'll experience I feel like it's it's a chance to do some work on yourself it's also a chance to sort of reevaluate and you know understand what is it that you really want in the relationship or in a connection Mm, that's right, but mm. the, the potential between the both of you is really amazing. Some of you, mm -hmm. you might even leave a current partnership to be with this person and end up with them and move in with them and create this life together. You may terminate a relationship, a marriage, um, sort of a, a bit of a friends with benefits situation. You may terminate that and you'll be happy to do though. Be, uh, to do that because look what's in the middle of this reading it's it's the fork in the road mm -hmm. and it's it comes back to everything we've been saying here with not starting out on the uh, on an ideal um on the ideal foot here you know you're starting out a bit differently things might not go your way you know there's a bit of a struggle here so just remember that if you see these sorts of things it could very well indicate that that is this person coming through here for you 
that's right guys so on that note that is your reading we just want to thank you all for watching thank you for listening thank you for showing us um your support we will be sharing with you more tarot love messages here so stay tuned and don't forget to um you know drop by to our channels as well we do of share course. some a lot of love content so feel free to check it out for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with ourselves we do still have a few slots available if you want to get in quick um feel free to email us with the subject line tarot twins in the header our email addresses will be provided just below the video here in the show more section otherwise guys do take care get excited you. you've got a wonderful romantic yes. twin flame soulmate connection coming in so get excited you know create space in your life for this individual mm. be receptive be open do not block your blessings some of you and some of you have to get rid of the old okay yeah. get rid of the old get rid of any lingering exes that you know just you add grew and a little bit add data to make room for this new wonderful energy this delicious yummy relationship this divine relationship we're so excited we for are. you excellent reading thank you again for tuning in bye for now take care